Okay, so what I'm going to show you in this video is a tool that may benefit students that have a difficulty with input. So that is to say those students that have a difficulty in taking notes in a class, they might have conditions like dyspraxia, dysgraphia and so forth. This tool may benefit them and basically it's called CaptionEd. The area of captioning and transcription is currently quite a popular area and captioning and transcription by its very nature entails converting somebody's voice in real time into text. So you have a situation where you would bring your laptop or your smartphone to class, you would open up this captioning app, Caption Ed, or if you're remote, attending a remote class, it's the same principle. So you open up the, the software and you press to create a new recording session. So for this instance, I'm going to record my screen and that is the lecture notes. So for this simulation, I'm going to pretend to be a lecturer speaking. So every time I speak during the class, it will be the lecturer and everything I do here on the screen, it's from the viewpoint of the student. So this is how the student sets it up. He chooses his screen. And if it's a remote session, you would choose screen, whichever screen that remote session is in. I have multiple screens here. And press next. Now the next aspect then is to choose the input of audio. And since I am pretending to be the lecturer, I'm using my own microphone, I choose that. If I was online with a training and lecturer online, I would choose the computer audio input. And I can see here as well, you have in beta mode, computer and mic. So you then select your transcription language. So UK English, what's the if you're in the United States, I would imagine it would be the American English. You press your start session and that is all you, that's all you really need to do from the student's end. Everything now that has been spoken is being transcribed. And to just give you an example, I have a PowerPoint slide open on another screen. I won't show you that in this mode, but suffice to say it will be shown, it will be exported when I'm finished this session. And as you can see, it's very, very simple. If I pause, it creates a separate time stamp. And I can also in real time as a user, go in and type in my own notes. So let me just simulate a lecture. So today's lecture is about assistive technology in education. And basically, assistive technology in education is quite wide and diverse, and it would incorporate basically the areas of specific learning differences, um, those for hearing impairment, uh, visual impairment, but the predominant among um, the predominant area of technology in higher education, which helps those cohorts of students would be in the specific learning differences and that would be in the areas of dyslexia software, literacy tools, dyspraxia and so forth. So jumping out of the lecture mode now and going back into the demonstrator mode, you can also change this caption ed as a student. You can change the background color so if it's more of a dark background screen that you wish and you can also change the text size down here and when the lecture finishes you just simply go up and press the end session and then you press the end and upload session now this software requires an internet connection so that is important to note now, in this 
box that appears, you will type in the title of this particular session. So in this instance, what I would recommend in terms of naming conventions would be to put in the date that the caption was undertaken. So if you're using this to take notes of a lecture or to, to caption a lecture, you type in the lecture. Yes. There we are. If I press save and close, and as I said, we are on the desktop now. If I wish to review and look back over that caption session, I simply click here and the browser will appear. And there we have it. It's opened in the browser. And as you can see for the first time, even though I have it on my other screen there, there is my PowerPoint slide. And it's a simple case of, again, same principle. You can change the text size to large. I'll make it normal for the moment. And you have your notes at the side as well. And you can add in your notes as well as that after the session is finished. So you can add in further notes after the recording of the captioning has complete. And to play back the notes then, you simply click where you wish to start in your captioned text field and then you simply press the play button and that is all you that's all you really need to do from the student's end everything now that has been spoken creates a separate time stamp about assistive technology in education technology in higher education which helps those and you can speed up and slow down the voice you can incorporate, as we've seen here, I've incorporated video slides and transcripts and so forth. And you can also configure the software. So again, to recap, this is a technology in the realm of captioning and transcription. It's a very growing trend currently. And it's another area that may benefit students that have a challenge in taking notes in the classroom a general challenge in, in, in lecture theatres if, if they have a difficulty in taking lecture notes and so forth. This may be an option in the tool of options for assistive technology specialists and others to prescribe to their students. So that is the end of this video and thank you for watching.